Okay, so when it comes to snake eggs in the incubator, one of the most controversial questions in the ball python hobby, and that is, should I cut my eggs or should I not cut the eggs? And what we're really talking about is cutting them open with a scissors or razor blade and peeking inside to see the results of your breeding. And let me tell you, I have some eggs in there that have been cooking for a little over two months. It normally takes 60 days for ball python eggs to hatch. And this is the father right here. This is my big bamboo male. <laughs> Take a look at this beauty right here. This is one of the most impressive morphs that I've ever seen, just a base standalone morph. And I actually bred this with what kind of looks like a normal ball python, but she's 100% caramel albino. So half the babies will come out with caramel albino, half won't have caramel albino. You won't know which ones have one copy of the gene because because it's not a visual you need two copies of the gene to actually see it so what I'm really expecting unless for some freak you know this you know this might be a cat caramel albino you really don't know sometimes the genes get really diluted I'm betting that this is not het for caramel albino you never know I mean if, if this is het for caramel albino we may actually see some visual caramel albinos and if that's the case you know what that means that means everything I bred this with for the last two years is 50% head caramel albino. So that kind of changes the game and changes kind of what you think you have as far as, you know, if you bought a ball python for me that's a bamboo, it could be 50% head caramel albino if this guy proves out. I doubt it very much that that will happen. You know, sometimes you'll get like double heads or triple heads and then kind of when they get bred down the line, they kind of get diluted. So what I really want to do today is take a look at that clutch of eggs. It's actually in two egg boxes. It was a huge clutch. It's from one of my biggest females. She laid a clutch of, I think it was 13 eggs. I think one was a select. So we either have, I'll have to double check, but we either have 12 or 13 eggs in those two boxes. And I want to go through and cut them open and just peek inside. And, and really, I think the biggest controversy is if you cut them too early, you can actually kill your snakes. So some people are cutting them like on day 30 or day 40 <laughs> before they're completely fully developed. And that is really risky because they're not completely done developing. And usually what I do is I wait until the little babies kind of start breaking the, the shell on the egg. It's kind of a leathery shell. And they have a really sharp egg tooth that they use to cut away. And you can see little slits in the egg. And I looked yesterday, I didn't see a single slit, but it's been way past of where they, I think they should hatch. Normally they'll hatch, you know, at, uh, usually at 60 days I see at least half of them pipping, you know, cutting the eggs open, and I didn't see any. So maybe today we'll see some pipping, maybe we won't, but I really want to go through, just take a quick little tiny cut and see what we have. They'll, they'll either be bamboos or there will be normal looking snakes. It should be really easy to tell which is which. We shouldn't have to cut very far. So let me pull those egg boxes out and we'll take a look at those eggs. Okay, so these are my two boxes of eggs I just pulled out of the incubator. So I'm gonna set these to the side and just focus on one. And I have some paper towels here standing by because I know this can get really messy. Sometimes it can get really goopy. And let's just take a look to see if any of these eggs are kind of peeking out of the eggs here. And I don't really see any eggs kind of popping out at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with one egg at a time. And we'll see what we can see here. <laughs> see if we can actually see a ball python in this egg. So let's take a look at this one. What I do is I just use a scissors. Some people use kind of like a razor blade. And what I prefer is the big scissors because I can kind of get in there without risk of, you know, actually cutting the baby at all. Let's see what we have. You can see there's some stuff coming out. <laughs> and let's see, I'm just going to cut a quick little V here. And we can take a peek in there. 
And this one, take a look at this one. Uh, boy, that's hard to tell. <laughs> I would say this one looks like uh, pretty much a normal ball python. I don't really see any bamboo in there at all. So that is a normal. What I'm really shooting for is the bamboos. So that is one down and a few more to go in this box. Let's take a look at this one. Let's see here. Boy, <laughs> this one's hard to get a hold of. Oh, really? This one also. This one also looks like a normal. If you can see that. Give you try to give you a little more light here. <laughs> that is a normal ball python. Mm, and I don't know about this one. This one seems kind of deflated. Sometimes when they're deflated like this, it doesn't properly develop. So I'm guessing this one could be uh, just a bad egg. I pretty much have always seen these turn bad. Hmm. Yeah, this one looks, I don't know. This one looks like it partially developed, but it didn't really, it looked like it was a normal, but I don't think it's gonna make it. So that is, uh, Three normals for three, boy. I know I paired my bamboo with this guy. Really? Wow, again? <laughs> you know, the, the interesting thing about this clutch is this is another normal. And it was one of the very first clutches. I was almost thinking that it could have been retained sperm from when I bred my scaleless head with a snake last year. So it'd be interesting to see if the father was actually the scaleless head carried over from last year or if it was actually the bamboo, because I'm not seeing any bamboos at all. And if it's scaleless head, of course, what we're going to have to do is wait till they come out of the egg. And then we'll have to see which ones are scaleless head because you really don't want to take them out. You really don't want to push them to see if they're scaleless head. So if we get zero bamboos on the whole clutch, I'm thinking the father might be the scaleless head from last year. But we'll see. Boy, this one. I don't know about this one. Huh. Well, I would say from that eye right there, that this looks like a bamboo. If you can if you can see that looks like the head of the snake 
And from the color on the head, it looks like this is a bamboo. So it looks like we had one out of five that were actually bamboos, which is crazy. I can't even believe that. Hmm. Those are terrible odds. Of course, the bamboo is worth a lot more than a normal looking snake that's 50% caramel albino. So let's take a look at this one and see if any of these are actually out of the egg. And these, none of them have even come out of the, out of the egg yet. Alright, so let me take a look at this one here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Hold on a second. <laughs> Gotta take my glasses off. Alright, let's see. This one looks like this one. Whew, we're not having good luck at all. That one is another normal looking snake. Pretty unbelievable. So, so far we have uh, five normals. And one bamboo. That is terrible odds, boy. All right, let's try this again. Let's see here. Ooh, got a leaker. Boy, this one's really goopy. Boy. Well, this one, I would say... <laughs> that one's really messy, but I'd say that one looks like... If you can see that, I'd say that one's definitely a bamboo on that one. So that is two bamboos so far. Oh, this is a messy job here. Alright, we have four more eggs to go. Let's try this one. Hopefully they're all bamboos. Interesting. Huh. This one almost looks yellow. There's nothing that can make a yellow snake though. Uh I think it's a bamboo. You can kind of see in there. That's another bamboo. So that is three bamboos. We're getting a little, little better odds. Three bamboos out of eight so far. All right, let's take a look at this one. Some of these seem really shrunken down. Oh, that's pretty obvious. That one is definitely a normal ball python. Let's try another one.
So you kind of hit some veins and sometimes it bleeds a little bit, but it's perfectly fine for the snake. This one is definitely a bamboo. You can take a look at that. Boy, that one's kind of <laughs> that kind of bloody there. So that is four bamboos. If we had one more bamboo, it'd be 50% exactly. So let's take a look at this last one. Ugh. I feel like I'm a surgeon here or something to cutting these eggs. It's getting pretty messy. All right. Whoa, that one was pretty close. This one definitely, you can definitely see that one. No problem at all. Let me see if I can open it up for you a little bit. That one, you can definitely see, that is a bamboo. So we actually hit the odds perfect. 50% bamboos, 50% normal. All right, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a new layer of press and seal. I use press and seal, and in the bottom, what I use is vermiculite and water 50-50 by weight, and then an egg crate. And that's pretty much how I let them sit for the whole two months. And then every now and then I go through and replace the press and seal just to get rid of the condensation. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them back in the incubator probably for another week or so until they all come out of the eggs. And then we'll take a look at each one in more detail and set them up in the hatchling rack. All right, so there you have it. That is pretty much 50-50 between my bamboos and my normals in that clutch. And I actually went back and counted the number of eggs. The total eggs in that clutch was 11. I miscounted the first time. So it's five bamboos and six normal, and they'll all be 50% het caramel albino. <laughs> what I'm really hoping for is to take one of those males and breed it back to the female. Maybe I'll get a caramel albino bamboo. Now that would be pretty awesome if I could make something like that. And I actually have two het caramel albino females that look like normals. They're 100% het caramel albino. So I can actually take one of those and breed it back to one of the females. Maybe not back to the mom, but back to the other female and see if we can produce some caramel albino bamboos, which would be pretty awesome. I don't know if there's, I don't know if I've ever seen a caramel albino bamboo, so it'd be pretty awesome to actually see it. And it might be the world's first. Someone might have produced it before, but I know a lot of people aren't really working with the caramel albinos because in certain lines, you can have some kinking of the spine that kind of shows up. Certain lines, there's no problems at all, but I think a lot of people kind of stay away from it, mainly for from you know the genetic defect that some lines carry as far as the caramel albino. <laughs> I don't know what this crazy snake is doing. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. If you decide to cut your eggs, I would probably recommend doing it past, you know, the 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 60 day mark at least. 60 days or beyond, you're pretty safe cutting eggs. And and normally what I do is I wait until the the hatchlings start cutting the little egg slit in the eggs. And and pretty much once the most most of them have you know cut the little slit in the eggshell, then you can go through and open them up a little bit more and that's pretty much the safest time where you can go in and cut the eggs and it really depends on the temperature of your incubator as well I have my incubator set at 90 degrees if you set it a little bit lower it's gonna be a few days more out now, as a matter of fact I've heard some people going up to 80 days you know incubating at a colder temperature it can really extend the incubation time but I would say that's probably you know incubating you know kind of at a room temperature where you look from maybe some people are letting the the snake trying to incubate the eggs and I, I, I would think it would take a lot longer that way if you're not really controlling the temperature so that's pretty much it thanks for coming along thanks for watching and I will see you next time